press the bell icon to never miss an update from placement interviews. Hi, uh, my name is Rhythm Tyagi. I am currently a student of Delhi Technological University. I am right now in my final year. Uh, my branch is Electronics and Electrical Engineering and I am placed in Bain Capability Center. What was your preparation strategy? So the placement procedure at Bain was as follows. The first round was the resume shortlisting. Since there was no percentage criteria for shortlisting, everybody was eligible to apply. So uh, roughly 700 candidates applied for uh, Bain. We had to send our, our resume along with a cover letter. So post that, uh, the results were out in a couple of days and 30 resumes out of 700 were shortlisted for the subsequent interview rounds. The interview rounds were uh, held at the Bain office. The first, uh, when we reached the Bain office, the first round was a written test, which was a DI and case study based MCQ type test. The uh, uh, test was not very calculation intensive, however, there were very long cases, so you should maintain a very high reading speed along, uh, with the test. It was a non-eliminative test, so the first round of interview was supposed to be, supposed to be a guess estimate round, but it, was, it comprised of case study as well as guesstimates. So I, my interviewer was very friendly in general. He uh, First, he asked me to uh, introduce myself and a couple of warm-up questions like uh, uh, what is my branch and what are my hobbies uh, after that he asked me a guesstimate question so as as soon as I presented my approach towards the guesstimate question he cut me midway and asked me to proceed with another op approach so and uh, I took uh, took around five, uh, two minutes to think about it and when I uh, answered my second approach to him he cut me midway again to uh, answer me in a third approach so, uh, I suggest to my juniors that while you're preparing for the guesstimates, just don't stick to one particular approach for a question. Uh, practice the question with various approaches that come to your mind, various frameworks for the guesstimate. So, uh, related to the guesstimate, only pose me a case study question. And after that, were a few basic questions about my internships, about my PORs, and involvement in college activities, etc. So, this was a non-eliminative, uh, this was an eliminative round, right? So, uh, post that, uh, around uh, 15 students were selected for the final round of interviews. The final round of interviews uh, were supposed to be again case study based interview, but again, they comprised of almost everything. My interview, it was supposed to be case study interview, but my interviewer asked me, uh, just he just welcomed me in, asked me to introduce myself and just threw, threw me a bunch of economic questions. So, me being an in, uh, engineering graduate, I did not have a, a lot of, uh, you know, stronghold in economics. So, I asked him time to think and I came up with the basics of economics that I had studied related to demand and supply and I answered him accordingly. So he seemed fairly satisfied. After that, he uh, asked, uh, asked me about my internship at IIM Ahmedabad and the project that I did related to data analytics. That's all and uh, uh, these were the final interviews and then five of us were selected for the company. What was your preparation strategy? So for my preparation, uh, the for mostly all non-technical companies, you have to prepare for case studies and guesstimates. So for case studies, I refer to this book called Case in Point. It's generally referred to as the Bible for case studies. So uh, the first time I uh, you know used the book, I just read through it once, like a textbook as or a story book, I, I'd say. So I just read through it and just grasped the information. I again uh, read that book again, and the second time that I was solving it, I just read the questions and I did not look at the answers and I form the approach on my own. So I think that that was very crucial so that I could think on my feet uh, during the interview. So that was for case studies. For guesstimates, uh, there's a book called uh, AC or Case. I just refer to its market sizing portion. So market sizing uh, involves like how many uh, metros uh, run in an hour on the Delhi metro network and questions like that. So once you have a basic idea how to approach such questions in general because the uh, variety of such questions is huge. So you should just refer to about say 20-30 examples of how to you know generally approach such type of questions and uh, I just devoted a week or so for guesstimates and post that I just randomly practice questions from the internet. You can refer to websites like Quora and there are a lot of uh, data available on the internet so just google market sizing and guesstimate questions and just start solving it randomly because there's no you know particular set of questions he can just ask you the adult diapers in the country in the use or uh, uh, in, uh, how many shrubs are there in some amazon forest so it's just anything random and you should just stick to one approach uh, that uh, that is there in your mind and not yeah that's all and for my interview uh, i just practiced a couple of mock interviews with a couple of friends and uh, uh, yeah related to economics that was new for me I felt that uh, reading newspapers regularly helped me a lot because I was, uh, you know, read, uh, read about current affairs even though I'm from an engineering background that helped me answer the economics questions. Any tips and tricks that you'd like to share? 
one thing that comes to my mind is since uh, the first criteria for you know so that you are even eligible to sit for the interviews and represent yourself in front of the company is your resume to which get shortlisted so out of 700 applicants to be among the uh, you know among the top say 25 or 30 people to highlight your resume just make it a one page resume and just highlight the important points so for example if you are writing i have a 7000 rank in j mains just you know uh, instead of writing 7000 rank in j mains you can write 99.5 percentile in jee mains to you know give the person who is reading your resume an idea of the scale of your achievement and accordingly quantize your the rest of your achievements you know present a lot of statistics for example if you've achieved something in your internship a good result say i've achieved this result with 95% efficiency so just presenting numbers makes your resume highlighted and make sure it's a one page resume and spend a lot of time drafting your resume i spent about one week just writing my resume and took multiple printouts of it so that it's in perfect alignment alignment and you know the right uh, amount of words are highlighted that i want my uh, interview to see and also for uh, another thing i would say value of practicing case study and uh, guesstimate questions you you tend to you the question you tend to read the answer you feel that you've learned the approach but that's not correct because if you pose the dif- different question you won't be able to think because you have not developed a thinking of your own so uh, if you've seen a question seen its solution the next question make sure that you come up with a solution of your own and then cross check your solution with the one that's given in the book so that's it for this video i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel and also let us know if you like these video and if you want to watch more of them and suggest us topics in the comment section below and also i'll be uh, linking all the social media handles in my, in the description you can go there follow us there drop a text if you want to be interviewed or if you know somebody who can be interviewed and would help others uh, so that's all for today we'll see you next time